Welcome back. So I am really excited about this video because I want to talk about fall palettes. I want to show you guys my fall palettes in my collection. Some are not fall themed, but they still work for fall. But I have 25 palettes here that I want to go through with you guys. And you know, this video is meant to just draw out inspiration, remind you of what you already have in your collection, and maybe get you to see it in a different way. I want to talk about all of our favorites. I'm going to show you mine and you guys can tell me yours down below in the comments. I was going to rank these palettes, but I don't have it in me. We actually have COVID, so I'm just getting by. It's like nine o'clock at night and you know how it goes when you're sick. It's like the later it gets, the worse you feel. So we're going to get through these palettes and Fingers crossed, it makes me feel better. That was probably really loud. I'm sorry, but let's go ahead and get started. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Heather. I love all things makeup, especially colorful makeup and indie brands. And if you guys love those things too, I really hope you will subscribe. Don't forget to click the little bell so you can be notified of all my future uploads. I have recently posted some really fun videos talking about my favorite palettes, like the jaw dropping palettes. And then I had one talking about my favorite shimmers in my favorite palettes, my favorite mattes in my favorite palettes. Like there have been some good ones. And if you guys are interested and you haven't seen them yet, I will uh, make a little playlist and put it at the end of the video. I was gonna say I'm gonna link them, but guys, I just don't wanna do all that. Like I said, I am sick. So this is more of an honorable mention Really, I only have 24 palettes, but I picked this palette up and I have not used it yet. So I just want to mention it, but I have no doubt that it's good. But a lot of you might have it, so you can let us know your thoughts down below. But it is the Haunted Palette from Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny. I went and picked up some of the older palettes on the site and I'm super excited to have them. But you cannot tell me this will not be perfect for fall. I'm so in love with this color story. I cannot wait to play with this. If you want to see looks with it, let me know. I do have a post in my community tab asking you guys which palette you would like for me to do uh, next in that video that I did like showing you how I create unique looks with my palettes. So I'm going to make that a series and each video we're going to do a different palette. I'm going to tell you about different combos that you can create and then we're going to create a look at the end of the video. I did it already with the Muse palette but make sure you guys let me know what palette you want to see and then I will make like the top three into a poll and then we will vote. But just saying, this would be a really good one. But I also got the Strange and Unusual and the Spooked palette. Is that it? No, Nightshade. I need Spook still, but this is gorgeous and so perfect for fall. I am so excited to have my hands on this. Finally. Okay, so now into the palettes that I have. There are some really good ones coming out. Oh, and I have a code with Gourmet Girls as well. It is AOML. If you are interested, it is affiliated. So if you use it, thank you. But there are some really cool stuff coming out. Makeup for, just for fun. Just did a collab with Fantasy Cosmetica. Super excited for that one. Bella Beauty Bar also is doing um, is it the Poison Garden palette. And it's so beautiful. I will pop it up here on the screen. I really hope I get to pick this up because you guys know Bella Beauty Bar is one of my all-time favorite brands. I freaking love them. So I definitely want to pick that up. But let me just say I lost my freaking mind over this Cosmic Brushes palette. I want it so bad. I think it's called Undergrowth. It's so freaking beautiful. Oh, and I have a code for Bella Beauty Bar. And it is also AOML if you guys are interested. But I am excited for these new launches. But let's talk about what I already have. So as I already mentioned, the Muse palette. I did just recently do a look with this one. 
and it might pop up at the end of the video like on its own because it's one of my last videos but this palette is so perfect for fall I think it came out in the spring but I don't really remember because it's been a while ago but with these like greens and mustards and everything to me it's perfect even the neutrals in the palette as well like you could create a look with this just this top row alone and it would be so freaking perfect for fall i love this i love cosmic brushes cosmic beauty they are one of my absolute favorite brands and i had to mention neutrals neutrals would be so freaking perfect i cannot wait to use this one with undergrowth those two are going to pair so freaking well together but this is so perfect for fall I, you know, I'm all about a grungy eyeshadow look, an eyeshadow palette. So this palette was right up my freaking alley. The shimmers in here are so unique and beautiful and unexpected. And I just feel like you could really do some really cool fall looks with this one. This palette is so perfect for fall. And it's the Ensley Rain Groovy Garden. Like, come on. Oh, look. It matches my background. When a palette matches the fall background, that tells you alone that it is perfect for fall. So many cute looks. You could do straight up neutral. You could play with the more colorful side of the palette. You could do a neutral eye and add one of these shimmers to get us like a little bit of pop of color. My favorite shades in this palette, shimmer wise, are these two. We have Lava Lamp and Trippy. Trippy is the green one. Well, that went, and then that one just stopped like all abruptly. I think I had something like already on my hand because it wasn't even like sticking to that part. But these shades are so freaking stunning. Like, do you see that? Oh, it makes me want to freaking scream. But I can barely catch my breath. So it's probably not a good idea, but they're so freaking gorgeous. I cannot rave about this palette more. I do have a cart already full on Inslee Rain of palettes you guys have told me you love because I'm just getting caught up with them. I don't know if I said, but I do have a code with them as well. It's the same, but I'm just getting caught up with them. So there's a bunch of stuff that I want to pick up and it's stuff that you guys have recommended, but I love this brand. They're quickly becoming a favorite. They are a favorite, actually. Uh, my favorites are Unearthly, Ensley Rain, and Bella Beauty Bar, um, Cosmic Brushes, Gourmand Girls, Am I Forgetting Anyone? Um, Fantasy Cosmetica is becoming a favorite. I love them, too. Wicked Widow is really good as well, but the top four I have codes with. So who do I want to pull out next? Let's talk about this one. This is an old favorite and it's the modern Renaissance. Who has this? So this is my new modern Renaissance, but look at this palette. This palette is so perfect for fall. I love the burnt orange with these pinks and the neutrals. The shimmers in here are so gorgeous. Oh, so let me tell you a story. So when I first, I think it was in February, um, I made a video talking about my favorite palettes for Valentine's Day. And in that video, I showed this palette. It's so freaking nasty. But it's the first palette, like, outside a drugstore that I ever bought. And I've had it for such a long time. Look at the difference. It's so nasty. And, like, I knew it was nasty, like, when I looked at it. But seeing it side by side, I'm like, ugh. But I'm not getting rid of it. But anyways, I was talking about this palette in that video. And Amanda, because I was talking about how I can't use it anymore because it's really gross and it's really old. But I keep it because of, like, what it means to me. And Amanda went and bought me... A new one she is the freaking greatest so freaking sweet I'm so lucky to share my life with someone who is so supportive of my obsession but this one if you have it and it's not disgusting like this one maybe you want to pull it out for fall because I honestly think it's perfect for that and 
ABH is selling this palette on the Walmart app for 20 bucks. in case you guys are interested. I know I lost it. And while we're talking about ABH, let's talk about two more. I love the subculture. I mean, I was just coming into Beauty YouTube when all that drama went down, but I love it. I picked this up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, but this baby is perfect for fall. I hate the brushes that come with these palettes, but the freaking palette is beautiful. I love this color story. I really wish they would do more fun things with their color stories like this, but I think this is freaking beautiful. I wish there were more shimmers in here because there's only three, but this matte color story is so perfect. I love it. The forest vibes all day. Like, that's the colors I want my house to be in. So freaking beautiful. And last for ABH is the Jackie Ina palette. This has been one of my favorites for a long time. And you can see I have hit paint on a couple of shades in here. But, I mean, not all of this palette is full. But a lot of it is, especially this half. I just love like how rustic, is that the word I'm looking for? It just is so grungy and it's so fun. I love these two mattes like deepen up with the shade credit and sponsored on the lid. Like it's so beautiful and I've had so much fun with this one. I love how it has that green like shift to it. But it has that neutral base. I love shades like that. They are so fun. And uh, the new Sigma Little Mermaid collection, which is what I used to film this look, which that video should already be up. It has a shade like that in it. And I really love it. I think they're so fun. Then we have this palette from Tarte. I think I got this in my BoxyCharm. And this is like the Man Eater After Dark. I like the first one's color story a lot better, but honestly, I was so surprised at how good this freaking palette was. I had a lot of fun with it. Is it one that I'm probably going to reach for a lot? No, but it's because it's too neutral for me, but I do think it is really, really beautiful, and it would be a great palette for fall. I mean, with the greens, the yellows, and the browns, I just think it's stunning. And honestly, I was really shocked at how much I like this formula. Really shocked. Pleasantly surprised. And then I want to mention the Ambiance palette from Ace Beauté. And I miss them. I talked about this recently in another video. But I really do miss them. And I freaking love this color story. This is one of my favorite palettes color story wise. In my collection, I think it's so beautiful. They've had this for sale a lot on BoxyCharm if you guys are interested. But if you already own it, I mean, how could you not pull this out for fall? I pull this out every year and I think I've had it two years now. It is so freaking beautiful. These three shades right here, well, the whole bottom row it just sucks me in and I freaking love it. So this one is a new favorite, and it's a freaking good one. It's the recently de-influenced. I am so in love with this palette. I literally cannot stand it. I mean, no, the blue to purple, like, multichrome right there is not fall. But you got half, wrong side, Heather. This whole half is. And even this green and this shade right here could be used for fall. This palette is so good. It's my new favorite Bella Beauty Bar palette. And that's not easy to say because you guys know how much I freaking love that Secret Garden. But this is so good. I can't even begin to recommend it enough. I cannot wait to play with the, what is it? Mm, strange and Unusual. I almost said Dead and Unusual. But yeah, it's so freaking beautiful. I cannot wait to play with it, but I really do recommend this one. It's so good. One of my favorites. So next, let's talk about Adept. The first one is the Sumerian Sunset. This palette is so beautiful and so perfect for fall. Even though these shades right here kind of look a little pink, they are kind of, they shift different colors. And it just depends like what you put them on top of or around. 
and you, typically that's the color I find that peeks through more, but I think this color story is perfect for fall. This shade right here. I love every shade in this palette. I want to use it so bad. Pretty sure this came out last fall, but it's so good. It's a holochrome. Oh, can you see the little rainbow glitters? Oh, I love eyeshadow. God, it just makes me so excited. You know I love eyeshadow when I can get happy when I have COVID. But, oh, it's so good. And then I had to mention the Heather Austin. She did such a freaking spectacular job on this palette. The color story is so perfect. The mattes with the shimmers are perfect. You could tell she really put a lot of thought into this palette. I love so many shades. There's so much you could do with this. I just think... She did such a great job. It's been a while since I played with it. I think fall of last year, actually. But let's just swatch a little. Like, look at that one. Do you see that? That's so freaking sickening. That's the shade Austin. And this one is the shade Smith. Oh, Adept. They are expensive. Really expensive, but they know where it's at. They're expensive because the shimmers they use are so freaking good. And I would say they probably pay a lot for those pigments, which jacks that price up. But I can't recommend them more. If you find a color story that speaks to you and you don't mind spending money on it, then I really don't think you will regret it. Trust me. Oh, I have another palette I forgot from Gourmand Girls, but it's also from Ladybug Glow. This is the Paradise Cove, and I mean, this is supposed to be a tropical palette, but this totally works for fall, at least in my book, but I will find any excuse I can to pull out a Gourmand Girls palette. This color story is so freaking gorgeous. I do have looks with this one. I have a look looks with a lot of these, actually, but... I love this so freaking much. It's so beautiful. I had so much fun playing with it. The looks that I did with it were so fun as well. Highly recommend. It's so freaking cute. And Gourmand Girls has a really low price for an indie brand. A lot of the prices are really high. But I think this one was like 20 something dollars if I'm remembering correctly. Okay, so let's talk Unearthly Cosmetics. You guys know Unearthly is one of my favorite brands of all time, and they were the first brand to send me PR. Speaking of that, honestly, uh, the High Temp palette would work for fall, but I'm going to stick to the ones I brought out, the first being Fall Magic. It's self-explanatory. And this freaking color story is so good. The mattes are so good. These three down here are my absolute favorite. I love them. The shimmers are beautiful. I even have pan in that green. For me to have pan in an eyeshadow, especially in a palette that's really not that old in my collection, is insane. That should tell you how much I freaking love this palette. Had so much fun with it. It's so good. And another one that came out around the same time is Sorcerer Smoke. And she is perfect for fall as well. These palettes are really fun to mix together. Like the warm tones with the cool tones. It's a good time. But I love this palette too. It's kind of like a, a neutral palette for a colorful lover. Or a neutral palette for someone who wants to play with a little color. It's just so beautiful. I have had so much fun with it. I actually have pan in this green shade. But it's kind of hard to see on camera. But I love this so much. I've created so many fun looks with it. And two more from Unearthly. One being Lore. I freaking love the artwork. I love the artwork on all of her palettes. But this one is one of my favorites. I think it's so beautiful. And so is the color story. Again, perfect for fall. These like yellow grungy colors with the greens and then the black to deepen up that outer corner. You know I love that. I just think it's beautiful. Burgundy, I feel like, is another really pretty fall color as well. And Fairy Frolic really is perfect. It's like literally 
fall in a palette. It's so beautiful. I love this color story. It's so unexpected. And honestly, like even after all these fall palettes I've shown you this far, I don't really have anything like this in my collection. It is special and it's one that I am super happy to have. So I have three from Leonard Beauty. One was the 12 Days of Christmas or 12 Days of Lunar Advent Calendar. We got Christmas on the outside and fall on the inside. A lot of people were mad, and I'm going to be honest, I was a little disappointed that it looked like it was going to be a Christmas palette, but then it turned into a fall palette. But for what it is, this palette is freaking beautiful. The color story is gorgeous. I love the matte shimmer ratio, but I love the mattes that he picked in here. I think this palette is so perfect for fall. I did not open them like one day at a time. I am not that girl. I dove in and ripped all that stuff open immediately, but I had so much fun with this palette. I've not used it in like two years, but I still like it. Then I wanted to mention the Full Fantasy. This was a Lunar Beauty and Laura Lee Los Angeles collab. And I think this one is also perfect for fall, especially if you are someone who really likes more neutral looks. This one is probably going to be right up your alley. It's really beautiful. These shimmers are really soft and silky and beautiful. But the color story is really gorgeous. And I have not touched this one in a long time because I am more of a colorful girl. But... I do think it's beautiful and it would be perfect for fall. This one, however, is one of my favorite palettes in my collection and it's the Moon Shroom. And if you know one thing about me, I freaking love mushrooms. But this color story is insanely good and so perfect for fall. I just love this freaking periwinkle shade. It's called Pixie Pop and it's so vibrant. I have not, I don't have a shade like this anywhere in my collection, which is not an easy thing to say, but this palette is so freaking beautiful. And it's a lot like this other one I'm going to mention, the At Forest Sight, but this one is so freaking beautiful. I love it so much. So we might as well talk about the At Forest Sight. I think this palette is really beautiful, and at the time when I got it, I loved ColourPop, but to be fair, I hadn't tried Indie Brands yet, so I didn't know, like, what I was missing out on. Now, I'm not as crazy about ColourPop. I feel like their shadows are more dusty, and they're harder, like, they're not as impactful. They don't have the longevity. I feel like the Indies have. But I did, this is one of their better palettes, and I really did enjoy the color story a lot. I don't like talking about drama and stuff on my channel. I don't watch a lot of drama either. I have really bad anxiety, and I try not to bring that stuff into my life. But I have unfollowed Christy on every platform because I can't support someone that actively is unsupporting me as a gay woman. So it breaks my heart. I literally cried when I found out about all that drama. If you want to, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you Google it. It's everywhere. But yeah, I followed her for years and I really, I still love her. Like, but yeah, I don't even really like talking about her collabs anymore on my channel because... That was very freaking disheartening. If you don't know the situation, look it up. But I hate drama. That's why I don't really talk about it on my channel. Because I just, my life has been drama for so long. And it's not anymore. And I want to leave it that way. So, we only have four palettes left. One of them being the Juvia's Plays. And this is the Bronze Rustic. This palette is beautiful. I have not used my Juvia's Place in a hot minute. I might end up decluttering them this year, but not because they're bad, because they're not. The, their palettes are more affordable, and they are beautiful. They are pigmented, and I just, I've, I had so much fun with them for a long time. This shade right here 
is so freaking gorgeous and vibrant. It's so beautiful. I think when I do my declutter this year, though, I'm going to, like, sanitize these palettes and um, sell them on Macari or something. I usually give them all away, but you know what? I spent a lot of money on this, and if I could make money back off of it and then put that money back into my channel, I mean, I feel like that would be smart on my behalf, but I don't know. That's just a thought, but... I love this mustard shade up here in the corner too. It is so freaking beautiful. But if you haven't tried Juvia's Place and you're on a budget, you might really want to check them out. I do have quite a few palettes from them, five, no, six, and I've never had any issues. I've always enjoyed them. Three more palettes and one is from Glamlight. Had to mention the Garfield. To me, this palette is perfect for fall. Like, especially if you take out that gray. But the gray even works if, like, if you're doing a fall dreary day. Like, the skyline when it's rainy and the leaves are falling. That's what this palette gives me. Like, tell me. You picture it in your mind, don't you? This is just beautiful. And I've created so many fun looks with it. It is my favorite Glam Light palette as of this very moment. I just think it's stunning and perfect for this time of the year i'm so excited about fall but even more i'm excited about halloween and all of the new halloween releases it's all i can think about and it's funny because even though this palette says merry christmas it's literally perfect for fall like especially the bottom two rows but even some from the top as well i think it's perfect for fall so merry christmas whatever I don't even see Christmas in this. If you do, let me know what colors you would put together down below. And maybe you could help me see it in a different light. But when I look at it, I see fall. Like these two in the outer corner. This one in the inner part of the crease. And then what would you do on the lid? Hmm. Honestly, you could do all night like on the back half and then jingle bell up here on the inner half that would be really pretty but to me this is fall all day long and then last but not least we have the freaking trick-or-treat palette this artwork is so insane you'll probably see this in my halloween palette video too because it's literally for halloween this was a collab between odin's eye and angelica nikovist but it's so perfect for fall. I love this color story so much. I think she did a great job on both of these palettes. I love them. But I've had so much fun creating looks with this. And I think the mix of oranges, reds, yellows, burgundies, and greens make this so perfect for fall. Maybe not like this fluorescent green right here. Like you take these two away. And it's like really perfect for fall but you'll have to let me know what you think of this one down below but i had a blast with this palette i would love to use it again soon because it's been a while but i think it's a really freaking good one but that is it guys that is some of my fall themed palettes in my collection or fall color stories these are the ones like when i was going through i immediately remembered the color story and knew it would be perfect for this video i do have a lot of favorites in here as well but i'm excited to hear your guys' thoughts down below and what your favorite like fall color stories are and some of your collection i would love to hear your thoughts let me know if we have any like favorites in common or anything. And if you made it this far, leave five fall emojis down below. I can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts on all of this. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, bye.